Here, I just want to look at the unemployment rates across countries. And basically what we're saying here is that countries can enact policies that um, encourage people to work or not. So, for mm -hmm. instance, in the U.S., in, in the U.S., as we kind of just signified here, we have about a 4.2% unemployment rate. Um, let's just look here. I'm just looking at some of the latest data here. Um, it's about 6.6% in Canada, right? Our neighbor to the far, far north for us, at least. Um, in Mexico, it's about 3.7%, okay? Mm -hmm. And then in Zimbabwe, it's almost 95%. Pretty bad, right? Mm -hmm. um, in Venezuela, it's about 26%. Um, so why is this, right? Part of it would be what are the various taxes um, that employers have to pay when they hire workers? Do they have to offer medical insurance and those things? In the U.S., you don't have to offer those things, which explains a great deal about why the U.S. has a lower unemployment rate, because essentially you can hire workers at a much cheaper cost. In Canada, they might have to be part of a labor union. You might have to pay significant um, insurances for like health insurance, um, various things, or, as in the case of Zimbabwe and Venezuela, these are pretty tumultuous countries that don't have a lot going on, economically speaking. So you really don't need a lot of workers. And a lot of people might be working in the black market or working illegally. So what this kind of topic here overall gives us is an understanding that countries can do a lot to create a structure that encourages people to be um, employed in the labor force.